Hello YouTube, this is Jessica G. Quinto. I am here to do another video today for writing. And uh, as you can see, I do have my headset on. And uh, I found that this was actually a lot better for me to do it on my phone than to do it on, say, a camera. I have a 35 millimeter camera that I tried using and it just, it, it gave me great video quality, but it didn't give me very good sound quality. So that's why I decided to switch to my phone and see how things were going. So I wanted to start off this series. It's going to be basically monthly updates on my writing. And if you see me looking towards uh, One Direction, it's because I'm just staring at myself. So just making sure I have that all settled up. But um, this is going to be a writing update for September. And I know it's I'm filming this October 5th, so I'm a little late on that, but I had a lot of things going on towards the beginning of this month, so I haven't had a chance to actually uh, film anything like this. The end of September was all about me getting my novel Stand Up Fight Back ready for publishing. And that was basically a knockdown drag out fight to get that 100% completed for publishing and or for pre-order and then for publishing so it is currently available on Amazon for pre-order uh, starting October 1st it was actually I sent it to Amazon on October 1st and it said it would take about 72 hours for it to actually be available but it was actually available that night so that that was that was great fun um, but it is now available for pre-order, and it will be on pre-order until December 3rd when it actually comes out on ebook. And uh, you can pre-order it all the way up until then. And I am currently in the works to get the copyright for a paperback, because as I said in a previous video, I wanted to get the ebook out first, just so that people who had an e-reader would be able to enjoy it. And then once I get the copyright, which I know that purchasing a copyright through the copyright office is not needed but I wanted a little extra protection for the pipe for the paperback if that makes sense and then I would release that one and I am currently making plans with uh, my friend who is going to be doing audiobook and we're going to be going over the script for that in the coming weeks I might actually film a, a with her uh, for actually working on the script uh, because she's been doing voiceovers uh, amateurly uh, for a long time and I wanted to bring her in because I love when she reads things. She always reads it with such conviction and I wanted that for Stand Up Fight Back. Now again this is the first novel of the Reaper series that I have here and I hope everyone enjoys it because I've put my blood, sweat, tears and soul into this book. And I'm already starting to itch to do the sequel, but as as my friends and family have been telling me, enjoy this time to get your first baby out. Because basically this is my first real baby. I, I'm someone who always <laughs> seems to just, ooh, shiny new idea syndrome and just leave a story at the end. But this is the first time I've actually finished something, polished it up, and got it ready for publication. And... That's why this was such a knockdown drag out. So I am super proud of myself that I was able to get that all done by the by my due date because I wanted to have that done and ready. And thankfully, with Amazon's uh, uh, Kindle Direct Publishing, the way they do the ebook is that you can make additions to it as long as you have your manuscript ready to go by. I think they said like the end of November. Uh, as long as you have it ready by then, they will let you change whatever you want. You could change the price, you could change the manuscript, you could change the cover, you could change basically everything about it. And I really like that. You still have to wait the time, but again, the revisions that I had to make from one of my uh, uh, advanced readers, it only again took until the end of the night. So that was nice. <laughs> Uh, and I have three total uh, advanced readers. They're only my friends currently because this is my debut novel. I'm not 
I felt ill-equipped to be able to send it out to actual ARC reviewers who had a really large following. And again, I'm still learning this and I wanted to at least get some feedback because no one has read my book in its entirety. So this for my three advanced readers, they are the first ones to really get the full experience of my book. And I wanted to get that done as of the beginning of October, so I could start the pre-order process. And the one that came back, came back within three days, so God love her, she she finished so quickly. And she gave me a couple of points that I needed to fix, and that's why I bring up the fact that KDP allows you to actually adjust it. So that was nice, I was able to get that uh, fixed up. So now I'm just waiting for two more. As far as I'm hoping my goals for the next coming months is to get pre-orders for Stand Up Fight Back and get that all squared away so that I'll have a really good launch. Um, I know my family is wanting to plan a launch party, so I might take video, uh, do a vlog throughout the party and uh, bring you all along with me so that you can celebrate the fact that I have a book coming out. And this is... This is my child. This is something that I've worked really hard for and something I'm really proud of. And that's something I just really want to bring you all with me on. Now, as I said, I am going to be doing two videos uh, every week up until December 3rd, uh, which is a Monday. And I will be having them posted. I'm going to tr shoot for having them posted every Tuesday and Saturday. That might change as the weeks go, depending on my workload. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Again, you can reach me all at uh, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, and of course here on YouTube. And just leave me a comment in the section below. And I will see you on the next video. Keeping fabulous. Bye-bye!